Everywhere that there's a command, there's some fly officer. Every base, every ship. My job as a supply officer is to provide all the services that are necessary to keep the ship going. Part support and expediting, generating the three to four meals a day for the 300 sailors day in, day out, seven days a week. Laundry, barber shop, ship store. It's my job to make sure that those all run in order to allow the ship to do its mission. On a carrier, we've got multiple. The main suppo, he's overall in charge. Underneath him are his two principal assistants. Uh, principal assistant for services, and then the principal assistant for logistics coordinate when the food gets on board, how much, you know, the number of pallets that they're gonna have to bring on board to support however long we're gonna be underway. The coolest thing about my job definitely is working with the sailors. I have logistics specialists, culinary specialists, and ship servicemen that I work with day in and day out. So we carry on board a lot of the stuff that's needed. We've got giant parts all the way from cockpit canopies to flaps and wings. Those are full engines that go in uh, the F-18 Echo and Foxtrots. One of the other things that I do largely is coordinate with our beach detachment. So we've got folks that we send ashore that help us get parts out to the ship. Our mission is logistics. We bring all the people, parts, mail, anything that needs to get out of the aircraft carrier, we are responsible for. Everybody on the boat loves us. We'll fly anything from hamburger buns to million dollar aircraft parts. You're in charge of 10,000 line items. The numbers are so vast. We use a system called R Supply. Huge database shows everything that we have on board, where it's at, how many we have, the money that you spent on it. Went to college, uh, went through the uh, officer candidate school program to earn my commission, and then from there I went to supply corps school, learned the basic bits of my trade, and then I uh, came out to the fleet. Everything that I do here, my resume is just building and building. My first job on board, I was responsible for over $60 million to make sure that all these parts are here. The amount of responsibility placed on your shoulder at a very early stage is something that you probably wouldn't get out in the civilian sector. At the end of the day, why it's important so that we can get the, the parts in the hands of the customer. The, the engineers who need to fix that pump or the combat systems guys who need to fix that radar. That's why I enjoy being a supply officer. Working with the different departments, finding out what their needs are, and finding out those creative ways to make things happen.